Hey there, Soul Family. How are you doing on today? I just want to um, give this message out because I feel like it was really necessary to do. The name of this message is called Let Go and Let God. So I want to go to the scripture, uh, Proverbs 15, verse 13, and it says, A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance. But the sorrow of the heart, the spirit, is broken. I want to talk about when you have to let something go. If you are an individual that normally likes to be in control, it's normally an issue there because you feel like if something is not in place or something doesn't go when it's supposed to go at that particular time, you are not in control. When certain things don't appear in your life at a certain time, you feel like, why didn't that happen that way? You know, it's like you're over mind, you overthink, you um, have a constant anxiety of things that you're making bigger than what they are. Letting go requires you to know within yourself whether you believe in divinity or you believe in science, that you have to allow a higher source to take over for you to not do it all by yourself. There are some things that are in your control and there are some things that are not in your control. And you have to be aware of which that it is. And not try to be a superhero and do it all, you know, and try to take the glory. It doesn't work like that. Um, sometimes you have to let go of people. Mm -hmm. I have to say this. Sometimes you got to let go of people, places, and things. Sometimes you got to let go of things that are familiar. You got to let go of people that are familiar. Mm-hmm. Everything in your past is not going to walk with you in the future. People from your past are not always going to be able to walk with you in your future. There are some people you have to let go. And some of it is not by choice. It's just because where you are being elevated to, they cannot go. Their mind... And where spirit is trying to lead you are not on the same path. That doesn't make you being better than nobody. That doesn't make them being lesser than you. Just on different wavelengths. That's all. You know, um, I had to deal with a situation where I had to literally cut some people off. They didn't understand why. They felt um, as if I had to give a choice. And really... I didn't have to give no reason to nobody but to the divine. For the divine is in charge in my life. Without the divine, I can't do anything. Um, I always try to ask for guidance. I always try to ask um, for spirit to be open within me and allow me to see what's needed to see to go in depth anything that's in me that's not right to purify me make me whole make me um be aware you know um when certain people don't understand certain things in your walk it's okay because everybody not gonna understand when you're chosen and set out and called out you know you're or in a path of elevation where, like I said, everybody not going to be able to go. And if you're not strong enough, you will be in a place of, well, I kind of want them to stay. But yet, you know, you feel drawn to keep going where spirit wants you to go. Which means you have to fall back. And nobody say it'll be easy. Especially as people that you, you grew up with or you know or maybe lived around in your neighborhood and you knew them and all of a sudden it's just been a riff, a separation to go your way and as they go their way. That doesn't mean that there's less love. It doesn't mean that um, 
you don't care for their life and what's going on, but where spirit trying to lead you, you got to go. You have to be obedient to how spirit is leading you and where he is um, taking you to elevation, to new places, to new um new people, new mindsets, um, opening up your spirituality, opening up to things of knowledge where some people don't understand. So you can't always keep being around certain people that don't understand the walk that you're going to. There's going to be some people that are going to be left behind and that's okay. And God speed to those people. Um, but I know for me, I have to continue to go where people are like-minded. People are going in a place of elevation. People are going in a place of leveling up. People are going in a place of, you know, these are times where we need to pray more than ever. We need to pull on a higher source more than ever. This is not the time for just average conversation or just going to average places. It's the time to seek your ambition, seek your dreams, go after the things that you truly desire from your heart. Just like you will really want something good to eat that's really satisfying, that's the way you should be going after your dreams, your goals, and your ambitions. Go wholeheartedly into it, craving it. Let go of things that no longer serve your purpose. Let go of people that no longer serve your higher good. God got you. Let go of the ideas of what you think your life is going to be. And the divine will show you truly a whole new world that you never even thought you would even know. Lean not into your own understanding. Lean not into your own understanding. Let go and let God. I truly, truly hope this message inspires somebody to not be afraid to go into the unknown. To not be afraid to study about the unknown. To not be um, in double-mindedness. But trust wholeheartedly. The divine got your back no matter what. He got your back. Until next time, sweeties, love and light. Mwah. Mwah. Peace.